Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Makeup Fridays. This was a very special week again for Kristen um, because of the Oscars. She was asked to present um, a horror montage, a horror movie montage with Taylor, and it went off without any major incidents, no, no trips or falls or anything. And to pull it all off, she looked absolutely stunning, makeup and dress wise. So today it's going to be the Oscars, and. Um, this look is very similar to the look she wore at the Yellow Handkerchief premiere. So if you're wanting to do that as well, this is very like it. So just follow the tutorial um, and I'll give you tips at the end. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to save time, I've already primed my eyes and I've done my foundation. Um, again, for my face, it's Urban Decay's Complexion Primer Potion and L'Oreal's True Match in N1. Okay, um, for my eyes, I primed them with um, Urban Decay's Shadow Primer Potion, and I've used my usual Urban Decay palette, and I've used Oil Slick and Smog. Okay, for my eyeliner, um, you can use liquid liner for this, but I would recommend you use Urban Decay's cream um, eyeliner in black. It comes with a handy mirror and a really good brush, especially that brush that's um, angled and it's thin and it's really good for creating good lines in your eye. Um, usual mascara, um, Max Factor's False Lash Effect. Um, and on my lips, she has a little bit of pink gloss, but I didn't have any pink gloss on me at the minute. So I just used L'Oreal's Glam Shine uh, in the in six in number six sand crystal. It's really good for especially this. It's really a dark, smoky eyes. So you don't want too too much attention on your lips. So this is very good for that. Okay, um, and we'll get started. The first thing you need to do. For this look I'm using a makeup brush. Now you can get these anywhere. You can get them as cheap as they come, like two, three pounds. This one I just got anyone in Tesco's. I got this in Tesco's. It was like three pounds. And it's really good. It's a nice thick brush and it gives you good coverage. So I started off with smog. Now for a base colour this is quite dark so don't get put it on um, quite thin to start off with and thicken it up as you go along. You don't want too much, too many mistakes in one go. Okay, so you put that all over your eyelid and just a little bit underneath um, on the lower lid, just to line the lower lid. Okay, this is what you should have so far. If you've made a mistake, <coughs> sorry, or if you've um, put, uh, if, if you've made this top line too harsh, you can always go over it. You can always just clean your brush on a piece of tissue paper, or you can go over it. You can smudge the line with your finger. It's easily fixed if you've got the, um, as long as you've got the color um, in a light shade, not too dark, not too much put on. Okay. Next color you'll need is oil slick, and that's just any black. Um, eyeshadow and use the same brush after cleaning it of course again not putting too much on the brush just build you're wanting to build it up as you go along and you're putting this on your eyelid only okay this is what you should have so far um, you can put it on this is like a matte um, eyeshadow um, it's very good for this kind of thing and it has a little bit of sparkle but not too much so it's good for parties and things um, you want to put that on. You want your eyelid to be very, very black. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've got such a terrible cold. Um, and you put that all over your eyelid, very dark. Um, and next, you need your eye, uh, your eyeliner to go on. And cream eyeliner is very good for this kind of thing. It goes on really well, it applies very well. You don't have to put that much on the brush to make a good impact. 
If you want to use liquid eyeliner, you can, but it requires a very steady hand and you can mess it up very easily. I'm not even using liquid eyeliner for this look. Um, I find this a lot easier. And if you have a pencil eyeliner, it doesn't... Um, you need the pencil to be very sharp. Um, not very sharp as, as in you hurt yourself, but sharp enough that you get a good line and it doesn't really get the desired effect. And you don't need, you don't have a brush to actually, a brush like this is really good for this kind of thing. Okay, so what you need to do is <coughs> you need to line your entire eye with this, more so on the top than on the bottom. Right in the corner, right out to the very outer corner, gradually getting bigger as you go along. Um, you want kind of a flick, not a really obvious flick. As you can see in the picture, I'll put a link to a picture in the sidebar. Um, there isn't really a flick as as so, but it's you could sort of there, you can sort of see it, and it gives a good um, addition to the look. It makes the lines of the eyeliner less harsh. Okay, so we'll start with that. Okay, and this is what you should have. Um, now you can't, you probably can't really see that because it do, it does blend in with the black a lot. Um, but it will look good when you have it on, um, in, in real life, in all film it does look very good. Um, and then put on your mascara and you're done. Okay, um, for this look I did put on, she does have, um, dark eye, eyelash, eye, eyebrows even. So I did put, I put a little bit of this Rimmel eyebrow pencil in dark brown I think it is yes and number one dark brown it's very handy um, eyebrow pencil it's got a little brush at the top so you do need to buy an extra one um, it is very good if you want a, a thicker eyebrow um, let it go blunt like I have here if you want a thinner eyebrow like Kristen has in this picture actually um, you need to sharpen it very well um, so just go over your eyebrow with the pencil. Okay, so that's the look done. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everyone, this is just an extra video. Um, just to um handle all the requests that I'm getting. Um, two requests. I've got two requests. One was for the yellow handkerchief from here, and another one was for the Haiti benefit look that was back in January. Um, now for the yellow handkerchief from here, this look. This Oscars look is very similar to what she had in um, on at that time. Um, the only difference really would be is that the Oscars look at the bottom la uh, the bottom eyelid is um, a lot softer. There's a lot less black there. So if you're wanting to do the yellow handkerchief, handkerchief premiere, just follow um, just follow this video um, and put more um, black eyeliner on your bottom lid. As for the Haiti Benefit look, um, that look was a lot similar to the Sundance 2010 premiere. Um, or the Sundance 2010 appearance. Um, uh, to, to add to that for the Haiti Benefit look, um, all you need is um, a gel um, eyeshadow with a little bit of sparkles just over the entire eyelid um, and maybe less black on the top on the top lid um, I hope that helps um, give me your feedback um, and I love to see your requests and it's been so much fun doing all these videos um, and thank you so much to at case 2 fashion for helping me get this far thank you